Hey guys, my name is Bex, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a data pack that I made that lets you add custom blocks in vanilla Minecraft. This uses no display entities, and it replaces no blocks in the vanilla survival game. If you go into survival and place these custom blocks, they work exactly as you'd expect them to. You right-click to place, you break them, and you get the item back. So how does it work, and how do you add your own custom blocks using this data pack? It works using unused block states. So all of these blocks are just waterlogged double slabs, which are not blocks that you can get in vanilla survival. And don't worry, this doesn't affect regular slabs. Their loot tables and textures and models are all the same. And of course, this doesn't have to be wood types. That's just what I chose to do for the demonstration. You could do custom ores. You could do custom stone. You can add really anything you want using this data pack. It uses no entities, no displays. And if you don't believe that the blocks cause no lag, here you go. If this used display entities, my computer would not be running right now. Now, there are a few issues with the pack. The first issue is the water drop that happens when a block is waterlogged and the other one is that if you break a block in creative it, it leaves water behind these are issues that I'm gonna work on fixing but for now this is for vanilla survival so if you're making a survival data pack that adds more building blocks this is uh, this is your way to do it this is it right here. Listen, I'm really bad at this YouTube video stuff. There's a Google Doc down in the description that will uh, tell you everything you need to know. It also has a tutorial on how to add your custom blocks. So, you're all good. All right, well, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to download this from the description below on my planet Minecraft. If you like this video or this data pack, then please do feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and want to see more data pack stuff in the future because I'm always working on stuff like this. So with that being said, my name is Bex and I'm out. I'll see you later.